Hello guys, this is Mauro from Pinofotech.com and in this video I just want to show you how to use VirtualBox to create a Windows 10 virtual machine so you can test drive the, the operating system without having to change anything on your current system. Alright, let's get back, let's get uh, right into it. Alright, the first thing you have to do is uh, download and install a VirtualBox and it's free and you don't have to pay for anything, just download it. I'm just going to leave the uh, download link on the uh, on the video on the video comments so you can uh, uh, get the uh, software from uh, Oracle. So the first thing you have to do is uh, open the uh, uh, the VirtualBox manager and then go to new choose the operating system that you're going to be installing in this case, because Windows 10 isn't released yet, we're going to use Windows 8.1 and I'm going to install the 32 bit uh, in, uh, DVD to install this. Actually, I'm going to be using the ISO for 32 bits, but if you have a 64, use the 64. Uh, type the name for the uh, virtual machine. In this case, I'm just going to use Win 10 Technical Preview. Virtual box 02. And then I'm going to click next. I'm going to allocate the amount of memory that I want to use for this virtual machine. I recommend to to use at least two gigs of RAM, depending on depending on the system that you have. I can afford to uh, do that on on my machine, so I'm just uh, going to go ahead and choose two gig, uh, gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to click next. I'm going to uh, create a, uh, a new virtual hard drive, so I'm just going to create it. And right here, I will leave this option as the default. But if you want to be using the virtual machine in another environment, you can choose uh, different options to do that. Like you can see right here, we got the VHC. That's the one the uh, the Windows uses. But for the most part, it's just going to be testing Windows 10. Uh, this will be fine. The uh, VDI, the VirtualBox disk uh, image. So we're going to click Next. And here it's asking if you want to um, make the uh, virtual hard drive dynamic that will increase its size as uh, it needs more storage. But because I'm testing uh, and it's up for demo purposes, I'm just going to use the fixed size. So I'm going to I'm going to preset the, the limit of the uh, virtual disk and I'm going to click next. And I know that uh, that uh, Windows 10 doesn't take too much room to install. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to use 10 gigabytes. That will be more than enough. This is just to install the, uh, the operating system and have updates. It's no you, you, with 10 gigs you can't install a Photoshop or, or you know office and have a lot of software so the installation is going to take about 8.5 8.8 gigs of RAM so make sure you allocate the, the amount of storage that you need. I'm going to click create it's going to create the um, all right so the uh, the new virtual machine is created so now we, what we need to do is a uh, select this uh, virtual machine and click settings and then we're gonna go to storage and we're gonna go to the uh, controller IDE click on empty and we're gonna click right here to choose the uh, disk image that you downloaded uh, from the uh, Windows Insider program and just browse for the uh, for the ISO I'm just going to to use the uh, Windows Technical Preview x86 and I'm going to click OK and that's it. So now we're going to start the, uh, uh, the virtual machine and that should boot into the uh, Windows 10 technical preview installation process. I 
just going to pause and I'm going to show you how to um, to install uh, Windows 10 and, and I'll be right back. Oh, actually, I didn't have to stop it. So uh, the installation is the same as Windows 8 and Windows 7, as you can see right now. So you just click Next, Install Now, accept the license, click Next, use a custom installation because you don't have a, a, a pre-existing uh, installation of the operating system. Choose the drive, click Next and the installation will start so I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to uh, uh, finish the installation of Windows all right so um, so instead of waiting for uh, for the uh, for installation to finish I already have uh, a pre-configured a, a pre-install uh, Windows 10 on a different virtual machine, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to complete installations. Uh, just uh, click once uh, once the uh, setup run, you will get to the um, uh, final configuration settings. Choose the uh, user express settings. Well, I guess uh, you couldn't connect to the uh, to the internet, so I'm just going to create a local account. It's, it's the same thing. Type your username password click finish and that will fi uh, finalize the installation of uh, Windows so I hope this video was informative for you and I would love to take you for viewing